today we're going to look at Pythagoras' theorem. Quick reminder, this is the theorem that we use. It's a mathematical formula in order to find the third side of a triangle if we know two of the sides. So first off, when do we use it? If you know two sides of a triangle, okay, and you want to know the third. And also, very important, we can only use this theorem for right-angled triangles. Okay, now it's quite straightforward once you get the hang of it. It's not that tricky at all. It's probably one of the most simple things that we will do this year. So for um, a right-angled triangle, firstly, right-angled triangle is a triangle that consists of a 90-degree angle. Now remember, for the 90-degree angle, we indicate that using a little blue key in the corner there. So in this triangle, that is our 90 degree. And very important with Pythagoras, you need to be able to identify your hypotenuse. So your hypotenuse is the longer side and it is the side opposite the right angle. Okay, so hypotenuse is the longest side and the side opposite the 90 degree. Okay, so this is when we use Pythagoras, if you have a right angle triangle and you want to know the third side or when you already know two sides. Okay, now Pythagoras' theorem says this, it says that my hypotenuse and my other two sides, so I'm going to call them side one and side two, it doesn't matter which one you call which, as long as they are the two sides that form the 90. So your hypotenuse and these two sides have a mathematical relationship, and that relationship is that the hypotenuse squared is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So the hypotenuse squared is equal to side 1 squared plus side 2 squared. Okay, so that is Pythagoras' theorem in a nutshell. Now I'm going to show you two examples, and then I'm going to let you guys try some on your own. Okay, so first example is if we have a triangle, let's say we've got a triangle like this, and they tell us that's the 90 degree angle, and they say this side is three, that side is four, this side we don't know, and they want us to determine the length of this side. Okay, now when you do Pythagoras' theorem, it's very important, the first thing you do is identify your hypotenuse. So in this question, the hypotenuse is this side over here, and it is the side that we are actually trying to find. So when we go ahead and put this into Pythagoras' theorem, the thing we don't know is the hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse comes first, it's the hypotenuse squared equals the other two sides squared and added together. So it's four squared plus three squared. Okay, now we simplify. So this side stays x squared. Here we've got 16. 3 squared becomes 9, we add those two together and we get x squared equals 25. And please always remember, very important, the last step in Pythagoras' theorem is to square root both sides at the end. Never forget that please, square root both sides. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that. When we square root x squared, we get just x, which is what we want. We want to find out what x is. And when we square root 25, we get 5. Okay, so this tells us that the length of our hypotenuse here is in fact 5. And there's one more very important thing you need to do when you do a Pythagoras question, and that is to include a reason. Okay, this is part of geometry. Always in geometry you need a reason. Next to where you've made your first Pythagoras statement, you're going to write in brackets your reason, which is Pythag. Okay, and that's all there is to it. So I'm going to do one more example. I'm just going to rotate you a tiny bit. And we're going to do our second example over here on the right. 
So this was example one, this is example two. Okay, so for example two, let's say we've got a triangle now that looks like this. Okay, and they tell us that this side is 12 and this side is 5, and they want to know the length of that third side. Okay, so again, we have a right angle triangle where we know two of the sides and we are looking for the third, so we can jump straight to Pythagoras' theorem. Okay, so we can say the hypotenuse squared is equal to the sum of the other two sides squared. Now, always your first step is to determine what your hypotenuse is. Remember that is the side that is opposite the 90 degrees. So this is our hypotenuse in this question. So we're going to go ahead and substitute in. Where the hypotenuse goes, we put 12. So it's 12 squared equals 5 squared plus our unknown side, x squared. And now we're solving for x, which is on the right-hand side. So remember, you always, when you have an equation, you want to isolate your variable. You want to move all your numbers to the other side, keep your variable by itself. So I'm going to actually go ahead and move this 5 squared to the left. And remember, when you move something across an equal sign, you have to change its sign. So this becomes 12 squared minus 5 squared equals x squared. Now we can simplify the left-hand side. We're going to have 144 minus 25 gives me x squared. And 144 minus 25 is going to give me 119. 119 equals x squared. And just like we did here, the last step you must always do is square root both sides. Okay, so we're going to square root both sides. Oh, you guys can't see that. Sorry. Okay, we're going to square root both sides. Square root 119, square root x squared. And when you square root 119, it's going to tell you that the, I don't know if you can see that, the square root of 119 is the square root of 119. Now that's obvious and unhelpful. So to get that into a decimal, you're going to push this s to d button right here okay so we push s to d and it now gives us to us in a decimal and you round off to two places please so we're going to have 10 comma 9 1 as our answer so x is equal to 10 comma 9 1 okay and as usual we've used pythagoras so we need our reason every time you use pythagoras you go back and put your reason Pythag in there. Okay, that's it. So here's your first video on Pythagoras. I'm also going to send you a worksheet. Um, please make sure that you do it today. You don't want this to pile up. And if you get stuck, ask.